Hello from Cherry Hills Community Church in Denver, Colorado. It's July 25th. It's day one of the annual Faith-Based Security Network Church Safety Security Conference. Colonel Dave Grossman is up on stage right now. He's on, at the tail end of his presentation. And I've got a number of uh, breakout sessions later this afternoon and through the next couple of days. Now, yesterday I had a pre-event uh, class, a little, little more intensive, uh, very well received. It was a grand success. And one of the points I highlighted in, in that class and in all my training conferences and, and presentations is the critical need to have the self-discipline, first of all, the situational awareness to recognize that it's time to just break contact, disengage, and stop talking and, and interacting with the person that you're dealing with, and then have the self-discipline to actually walk away. Now, I found this video on social media. It happens to involve a police officer, but it could happen to any of us, no matter what career field you're in. You've got to fight the, fight the urge to feel like you have to have the last word, the last comment, or win an argument. Check out this video real quick. Thank you, sir. You have a good day. And don't fucking pot on my door the way you did if you ever come That's again. Stupid. Okay. If not, what's, what's gonna happen? Yeah, well, don't do it. I'm telling you, don't do it. I need to get your attention, right? What's, what's gonna happen if I come again? Don't do it! Okay. Well, I'm gonna go again if you ever come again. I should have left that fucking shit yeah. where it was. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but people around there, probably like you, who steal stuff. <laughs> I'm like, all last time, you're just popping back and you're laughing. You're <laughs> laughing? You're such a good person. Right? Laughing? I says, hey, I found this phone. And he says, no, what do you do with my group? I've been in that exact situation. I'm done with whatever I'm doing as a police officer. I, 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 whatever it is, the situation is winding down. I'm getting ready to walk away. And then invariably, the person I've been dealing with or someone in the family or crowd or whatever feels like they have to make a comment, something just in an effort to bait you and get you to turn around like this officer did. And you can see that he turns around, squares off on him. And even though he has a low calm tone of voice, He's still engaging and re-engaging the man who's now putting on a show, probably because he's got some people watching him, his neighbors, his family, or whatever. And I've been in that exact situation. Folks, fight the urge to feel like you have to respond or react. Let it go. If you're a police officer, and I teach this every year at the annual OTOA conference in Sandusky, if you're a police officer and the situation is winding down and you're done, Recognize there's no further need to have any more contact with the subject, doing about face and walk away. I've been there, done that. And they're yelling, people are yelling at me as I walk away. Yeah, that's right. Walk away. You and your badge. Let's see how bad you are now. You know, just blah, blah, blah. Let it go. You're done. Let it go. But if you do what this officer did in this video and you turn around and you re-engage, you're only setting the stage to potentially escalate the situation. Just let it go. People are going to put on a show, especially if they have an audience. They're trying to save face. Okay, it's all a show. But then again, it's not just police officers. Church safety security, uh, fast food restaurants. How about public transit uh, bus drivers? I've seen that happen. My team and I recently spent some time training with the drug bus drivers in Battle Creek, Michigan and in Kalamazoo, Michigan. Some of the videos I show them are incidences where the bus drivers felt like they have to say something and, and, and respond and, and the situation ends up absolutely going off the rails. Folks, slow down, take a deep breath, have this situational awareness to recognize that you don't have to engage, that it's time to disengage, and then have the self-discipline to walk away.